What's happening guys, it's Grant here from Zeus Fitness and today we're going to do something very different. We're going to do a 21 flow workout and what that means is we are going to get 21 exercises done in 10 and a half minutes without stopping for a rest at all. We're going to hit three exercises per muscle group and the challenge for this one is we are not allowed to set those dumbbells down for the duration of the workout. Okay, so we're going to get through every muscle group nice and quick. 30 seconds of each transitioning constantly so we never stop at all. So, you up for the challenge? Okay, let's do this. All right, we're gonna grab some light enough dumbbells, okay, because they're gonna feel heavy after a while, no time. We're gonna start with some shoulder exercises and we're gonna start with a Cuban press. So let me just get that timer started here. We're gonna start with Cuban presses, which is gonna be upright pull, turn, and press. And we're going in three, two, one, let's go. Not doing a reverse bicep curl, it's an upright pull. Keep the dumbbells in nice and tight before you turn them. And now we're transitioning into side lateral raises. Keep the hands. A few inches away from the hips. Try not to arch your back. Try not to swing. Now we're going to go front T raises straight up and out. Shoulders should be starting to burn already. And stop now in the back. So we're doing front raise and pull, tilt from the hips, raise them up, and then in the lat squeeze. that back nice and flat, raise the arms up, try and keep the forearms in line with the back, just squeeze in those lats. And stop, now we're straight into an upright pull, so both dumbbells in hand, raise them up towards your chin, keeping your elbows nice and high, keeping the core strong. Up, straight into bend over rows with a twist. So come from here, we're curling them up towards us and back down. So you're pulling it in towards your tummy and you're taping the nails facing away from you. Just keep that back flat and keep those knees soft. Stop. Now we're going straight into push-ups with the dumbbells. So we're on the chest now, we're taking care of the shoulders, we're taking care of the back. Now we're on the chest. If you can't do a full push-up, do it from the knees, but keep the core strong, bring the hips along with you. Don't cross the legs at the back. Keep the, hand, the dumbbells directly underneath the shoulders, not stretched out in front. The head line with the spine. Stop. Now we're going straight into chest fly, so dumbbells still in hand, lowering them down to the side, bring them in to meet in the middle. Uh, 
Uh, now we're just going to keep them pinched together and we're going to press them up to squeeze those dumbbells together. And you're pressing up in a pinch press motion. How would it at home guys, have you set those dumbbells down yet? I hope not, because up next we're going into isometric bicep curls. We're going to hold the left one up flexed, and we're going to curl the right one. Bring it up alongside the left one. I hold the right one up flex, and we're going on to the left one. These dumbbells are starting to feel pretty heavy. And now we're straight into hammer curl. So heads of dumbbells facing forward. Both dumbbells going at the same time. Bring them up towards you. Back down nice and slow. Now we're going into triceps, we're going to do a close grip push up, so keep those elbows in tight. Dumbbells still in hand, down, and press up using your triceps. Again, if you can't do full ones of these, just go from the knees. We'll keep the back nice and straight, keep the core strong. Still haven't set those dumbbells down yet. Up again, we're going into a double arm kickback. So, dumbbells in hand, elbows up in line with the back, upper arm in line with the back, kick back and start at a right angle and finish at a right angle. Don't let those elbow or don't let those dumbbells creep up towards the shoulders. Knees soft, back nice and flat, core strong, head in line with the spine. Now we're doing double arm overhead tricep press, so dumbbells up, lower them down towards the shoulders, keep the elbows in tight, fully straighten them. Once again, keep the core strong, no leaning back. Oh, dumbbells are starting to feel really heavy now, and believe me, these are not heavy dumbbells, according to what I usually lift. And stop. And we got, uh, oh, we got double goblet squats. So dumbbells in hand, lower yourself down, back up your thumb. End of the leg section now. Up. Now we're doing stiff leg deadlifts, feet hip width apart, tilt from the hips, keep the back nice and flat, come back up. And straight into alternate lunges. Step forward, knee toward the floor, right angle between hamstring and calf, and each leg.
And stop, final muscle grip onto the arms. You're going to do a full crunch, like straight crunch up, stretch up towards the ceiling and back down. Keep those arms nice and straight, try not to bend them. Breathe out as you're crunching up. And so keep them in the position. You're gonna raise your legs up this time. Keep the arms fully straightened like I've just done a chest press. And our last exercise, straighten out those legs, straighten out those arms, pull over crunch, bring the knees in the chest, fully straighten, don't let the feet or the dumbbells touch the floor. Breathe out as you're crunching in to meet in the middle. Breathe in as you bring them back. And stop, and finally, we can set those dumbbells down. Boom! Just like that. Check out the white knuckles there from gripping so much. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. It was quick, didn't take up too much time, we didn't need much weight, and we got through everything. Hardest part was not setting those damn things down. I hope you enjoyed the workout, guys. If you did, leave a comment below, give us a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Please leave a comment, let us know what you'd like to see from us in the future, and I'll see you next time.